So it feels like both as individuals, we have to step up to the mark, but actually the organisations have to meet us at that point as well. So it's a two way street. So if you're talking about or talking with leaders who have people within their organisations that they may maybe people with high functioning anxiety how do you raise that leaders awareness and what do they do to support those individuals so often leaders will say I don't want to get rid of it I don't want to get rid of my high functioning anxiety because how else am I going to function and I think this is where we want to raise awareness in that actually no there's burnout there's real physical impact of this and often people will start going or looking within once they hit that burnout so because their coping strategies of go 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 they hit that point they hit that brick wall and they're not able to get back up and use them strategies in the same way and that's when they're willing to want to look within but we want to try and get people to be preventative with this and start to become more aware and that's one of my missions is becoming more aware of this high functioning like you're not going to get rid of your high functioning side if you get rid of or or learn to manage the anxiety.